Sixers, hello, welcome to another episode of Number Six with Cheese. Today, three types of Papa's Poppers. Honey Chipotle, Buffalo, and Barbecue. Which sauce should you get? Hopefully we'll find out today. So, Corey's taking the car up to Papa John's. Come with us. Papa shoved a bunch of poppers in these boxes and we're gonna go ahead and open the boxes and eat them. Acquired Jump Cut! So last week we did the Little Caesars wings. This week, Papa John's. Uh, Alright, Corey, <laughs> Corey Wagner, second angle. Alright, this is the first one. Oh, you know what? Do you want me to do all three again? Yeah, let's do all okay. three. Alright, we're officially in business. Corey Wagner, second angle. Alright, we got our popcorn chicken and this is our Honey Chipotle, I don't know why I said honey. honey. This is our honey chipotle sauce up on there. Looks uh, decent, I guess, I don't know. Then we've got our uh, popcorn chicken with our barbecue sauce. And then lastly, we've got our popcorn chicken with our buffalo sauce. So we got buffalo barbecue, honey chipotle, all of them looking pretty good. You know, visually right away, you can't tell a lot by the sauce, but I will say I'm very impressed by the chicken size. Yeah, not actually really impressed, yeah. And good price, I think 10 of them, for seven bucks. Well, that's not bad. Maybe, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, who knows. All right, guys, time to pick a winner. Honey Chipotle's up first. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good flavor. Man, I'm really impressed with the chicken. I mean, it's really mm. good. Wow. Less on the Chipotle side, more on the honey side, which is way my speed, you know? It tastes like a honey barbecue. I'm not getting yes, Chipotle pepper. Me neither, yeah. Which I'm kind of excited about. Yep. All right, you know what it looks like. A buffalo chicken bite. Cheers. Cheers. I don't, I just, buffalo sauce. I don't think I like Papa John's buffalo sauce. Okay. I love that chicken though. You know what it is? What's that? It still has that like metallic taste to me like that pizza had. Oh, okay. All right, number three, just traditional barbecue. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Mm. I like their barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. Wow. Dude, they also sell these just plain. You don't have to get a sauce. You could just get a bunch of dipping sauces and do your own thing. That would even be fun just because this chicken's so high quality. Yeah, this these are all super good. Mm-hmm. A favorite, huh? Okay. Wow, dude. Now I'm just gonna go rampage style. Me too, I'm just gonna go back and forth, back and forth. This is one of those moments where it's so funny to say, we're at work right now. <laughs> yeah, dude, right? <laughs> Very silly. <laughs> style question. Uh, whoa. I tried to say go, and my fat throat tried to take, <laughs> tried to kill me. <laughs> yes, go ahead. What are your thoughts on circular sunglasses? Like, circular? I like, love uh, circular sunglasses. Oh, yeah. I've been seeing them lately. Yeah. Like uh, like Lennon style almost. Yep. You oh, know? yeah. Oh, yeah. And I think they're making a comeback. And I also agree. I dig them. Past. I kind of got like a, a fatter face where sometimes if I'm not, mm. if I'm kind of on a fatter kick, like it's the winter, mm -hmm. not that I'd wear a lot of sunglasses that much. That's your fattest? I think in the winter I tend to kind of put a few on. What have you been doing this summer? <laughs> I'm bulking. <laughs> you gotta have the right shape of face True. to pull it off. Like a Lennon skinny face. Yeah, you need like a like a longer oval face mm -hmm. and not a short little George Costanza head. Mm-hmm. So what's your point? This is a tough one, man. People need to start talking about Papa John's bonus. Yeah, these are really good. These are like wings, not wing stop level planes. But close. But damn close, dude. These are like I'm jumping to conclusions. Go for it. It's your show. But I think these are like maybe the best pizza wings, boneless wise. Because be. Pizza Huts get too steamed and soft too Very quickly. Soft. These don't come in that weird like container to try to keep them warm. It's just traditional box. And I think this works. Man. Damn, dude. These are really good. One more of these guys. I actually kind of like these buffalo ones. I'm surprised. I'm kind of a stickler for buffalo sauce. Like when I like a buffalo sauce, I'm like, this is the elite. And then so many of them are like watery and too metallic y. Mm -hmm. Like, you know who has really good buffalo sauce? Yeah. McDonald's. Really? Their buffalo dipping cups are so good. I love McDonald's buffalo. And I know that's polarizing. Some people are not going to be happy about that. But I think they make great buffalo They're sauce. They're going to have to deal with it. Yeah, dude. I'm gonna go ranch for, uh, I'm gonna do a drive-by once again of each of them in ranch and see, I think then I'll know I think that's sure. important because I think that ranch is the ultimate chicken wing dipping sauce. I feel like that's gonna be the thing that people use this with. I agree. You're doing God's work right now with yeah, this man. science stuff. I'm one of the apostles. Mm-hmm. You know what? 
You know what apostle you are? Which one? Apostle Bill, uh, Bill Nye. Oh, the, the apostle of science? The apostle of science. If you would have turned on me there, you would have been Judas. Yeah. But you kind of you strike me more as a, a Luke. Very, very uh, loyal, great writer. One of the better books. I always kind of saw myself as a Judas because I'd do anything for 12 gold shillings. <laughs> oh wow, this one's just exploding. Okay, my last one. Now this is the thing. If I put your buffalo in your ranch and it's still not good, you're doing something wrong. That's a fact. Okay. Wow. The buffalo, away. the metallicness goes away when you drown your sorrows in ranch. Which in Midwest, it's the know, only way to drown your sorrows. Some people will put an album on and just cry in the room. What people in the Midwest do, is they go, they go to their closest place that has fast food and they just get buckets of ranch and they just dip yeah. their heads in it. There's two sadness bottles you're opening if you're sad in the Midwest. Right. Bottle of ranch, bottle of beer. <laughs> Man, these I, are really good, dude. This was supposed to just be which sauce is better. This is now, I'm putting Papa John's chicken on the pedestal, dude. Who can beat this for fast food pizza chicken? Domino's isn't doing it. Little Caesars isn't doing it. Pizza Hut's not doing it. I don't know, man. Man, dude, it's every time Papa John's does something right, my mind's blown. I know, and I, I used to feel bad like um, putting them up, but ever since Papa left uh, and Shaq runs the business, yeah, <laughs> I'm just on board. He's CEO, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's CEO. Yeah, yeah. And COO and CFO, he runs it all, dude. If this Papa was a real Papa, uh huh, it'd be like the act, like the real, pa like it'd be like Zacco's dad, right? The kind of dad that isn't there for most of your life and is almost exclusively a complete disappointment <laughs> and then will come in once a year and take you to like Cedar Point or mm -hmm. some sort of dope amusement park and you're like oh man this one weekend that's so true you're awesome and that's kind of how I feel about Papa John's most of the things that they make complete trash 90% right. of the year I'm like ugh. right and then every now and again they have something like this I'm like oh when you're a kid your father can redeem himself so quickly one little vacation weekend will Make you forget all the times you went to bed sad. I shouldn't eat more, but I'm gonna have one more. These are really good. I know, man. I have to shut these, I'm gonna keep eating them. I know, these will be good later. These will save very well. Hence why having an air fryer is the dopest. Oh yeah, that's a fact. Leftover chicken in the air fryer sometimes comes out just as good as when you made it. Ooh. And they gave us that. Whoa, you got top leg sweat. Oh, do I really? Uh, my, my tricep barely graze that mm -hmm. and I feel like a sponge that just soaked up a bunch of liquids. I'm like the dad that took you to the water park right there. Yeah, that was Splash Mountain I just went to. I had the uh, wings right on my knees mm. for a little while there. I was wondering because I was like, whose top of leg sweats like that? Just gingers. All right, before we go ahead and pick a winner here today individually, let's do a shout out. Vlog shout out, vlog shout out, vlog shout out. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a vlog channel. Corey and Sean, I don't know how it's happening, mm -hmm. but it's still been growing. Even though quarantine has just been like putting on handcuffs onto our channel, like right. it's really been weighing us down. We haven't been able to do anything. The events are all getting canceled. We always do beer under glass. That got canceled. Yeah. And we're really struggling to be able to like put out awesome content for you guys, but we keep gaining subscribers. Yeah. And our videos have been actually getting views. Views. Well, I'll be I'll be the first one to say that I'm not humble and our videos are great A lot they of them are, are evergreen. They are and they just keep That's getting views. That's what I do when I get views. I go pop, 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 pop. Um, But it, I promise you guys we're gonna continue to put out awesome content that channel is not dead Please go subscribe if you aren't and if you haven't seen it I think there's only like maybe maybe double digits maybe like 10 11 different videos on there I'm not exactly sure how many videos are on. it's not many and if you haven't checked out Corey and Sean Go through and plow through those. Those are like some of my favorite yeah, stories 100 that we've made. So, uh, and there, I promise you, there are more to come. Go check it out. It's Corey and Sean. Go to YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Corey and Sean. Check it out. There are awesome more stories to come. I promise. Oh, oh, sorry. I have a question. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> dumb. <laughs> no, I mean that uh, does look like a high yes, five. Yes, sir. Um, video idea. Yes, sir. Corey watches Sean lick every handrail during a pandemic. In <laughs> yes, I'm in. Well, that could jeopardize our channel. Yeah. Can we uh, review all of your hospital food? Yeah, we'd have to. We uh, got to fulfill the calendar. All right, I'm in then. Okay, sweet. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Before we do, let's pick a winner here today. On the count of three, you're going to say either honey, barbecue, or buffalo. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. And I'm gonna wipe my face first. Oh, those are all, can I have that? No. Eric McCluskey, sitting on the side of the road in Chicago. Drum roll, please. Thank you, sir. One, two, three, say, ready? Yes. One, One two, two, three, honey! Are oh, your mind blown by me saying buffalo? 
it's not blown so much as it is I just realized how much respect I've lost for you in one moment. Not, oh, you lost my respect? Yours, gone. Oh, well. You lost mine. I don't, I don't, I, the good thing is I don't care. <laughs> yeah, 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 it does not matter. Dude, me, it doesn't matter, matter yeah. at all, bro. No. Why? Um, you really do think that was better than Honey Chipotle? I really, the Honey Chipotle was my least favorite of those. Swear to gosh. I actually, and you love honey. I love. That's why I was wondering if your mind is blown because generally speaking, buffalo Whoa. is my least yeah. favorite of sauces. I never like buffalo over a, a standard barbecue. Wow. I don't know what it was. I guess I like the taste of metal or something. Yeah, like you that. love metal. Because I do kind of see what you're saying where it has like that tinny flavor, but yeah. for some reason, that taste to me was like, it actually made it kind of good. I don't know, it's just, I've never, I generally don't like buffalo, and what really took it over the edge is the buffalo with the ranch was really freaking good. I will say the ranch did make the buffalo less sucky to me. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I don't know what it was. It was yeah. just, that was my gut instinct, and I had to go with it, and I'm, I'm as surprised, I think, as you are. Absolutely. I mean, it's nice knowing that at the end of this video, you were the wrong one in this video, and I was right. I feel like <laughs> Even though your opinion matters just as much as mine, if I want to go if I want to go ahead and say that you're wrong, that's, that's the stance I'm taking, and for the rest of the night, I will be texting you saying, hey, remember earlier when you were wrong? Um, the honey chipotle, which if you watch this channel, you know we're not big chipotle pepper fans. It's not even our hot sauce. Like we didn't even put chipotle peppers in it. We're not big on chipotle, but the chipotle peppers were tamed down mm -hmm. and the honey was up there. Mm -hmm. And when I dipped that in ranch, dude, boom, 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 that's my whole body blowing up, bro. I was in, I, my head blew up, then my torso and then my legs. And also your neck. Yeah. Well, that's tougher to break because it's so big and fat. Oh, I didn't say break, blown up. Oh, is what you were saying. It's huge. Yeah, yeah a lot of neck fat. Um, so team neck fat. Yeah, I don't know. The right answer is honey chipotle. Uh, if you guys know, if you guys have had all three, let us know which one you like the best. If you were also impressed with the Papa's Poppers, and uh, yeah, we'll chat in the comments and stuff. We'll do it. We'll do it. Thank you so much for watching the show. We'll be back here tomorrow with a brand new video as we do five days a week and sometimes more. Thanks for supporting. Does that feel good? Not really. <laughs>